Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's lift up our voices and appreciate the Lord for His goodness. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your faithfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. You deserve all the glory and the wisdom of our living in you. We move, we live. Lord, we have our being in you. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are from everlasting to everlasting. There is no one like you, Lord of glory. You are the beginning, you are the end, making of glory. Take all the praise, take all the glory and adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord Almighty. Oh, Lord, our times are in your hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Are we happy to be in the presence of the Lord? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. One thing we can do, we can, uh, the Bible says the Lord sent me help you is in Zion. Praise the Lord. Amen. In Zion, we are in the presence of the Lord. And is that you can take advantage of being in the house of the Lord and call unto the Lord. I want us to make one prayer. Uh, just came to me when I was getting ready for the service. Second Chronicles chapter 16 verse 9. Second Chronicles 16 verse 9. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyone with another version? Second Chronicles 16. It says, for the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. To strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. This amplifier says, For the eyes of the Lord run to and flow through the whole earth to show himself strong in behalf of those whose hearts are blameless towards him. Last 
uh, last Thursday. What is service? Amen. We established that service is giving yourself the advancement of the kingdom of God. Giving yourself the advancement of the kingdom of God. And then you come into the kingdom, you are you are enlisted. When you get born again, you are enlisted to the kingdom. Praise the Lord. You are enlisted like a Someone going to work the, you are going to work for the first time in a company. You are enlisted as an employee of that company. Praise the Lord. To do what? To serve. There is no way you are, you are employed to sit down. You are not employed to sit down. Not anywhere. You are employed to serve. Praise the Lord. And it's not different when it comes to the house of God. You are enlisted to the kingdom. You are enlisted to serve. Praise the Lord. That's us say uh, one thing about uh, Jesus. Most of this uh, parables. He did not. He usually talked of a servant. There was a master or a lord, and there were servants, and they were there serving. Praise the Lord. Yeah, and if there's nowhere Jesus told us we are masters. There's no example that <laughs> equates to us being masters or anything. No. Now he's telling us there is a master, and we are all servants. Praise the Lord. So when you are serving, are you are you are you serving? And who is our master, our Lord? We are serving our Lord. Do you remember during the youth conference? What were you told Jesus is? The Lord we serve. The Lord we serve. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus is the Lord we serve. And then the example of the talents. Uh, the Bible says He gave talents to one, two, three people. And then they, they were expected to go and make profit from what was given. And when they returned back, they were commended because they were diligent in their service. Praise the Lord. And the one guy, you know, the one talent guy, uh, he was told you lazy, lazy servants. Praise the Lord. No, we don't want to be lazy servants. The one that says, we're learning through all this man. We are looking to how we can be profitable. Because we can serve and your service may not be profitable. Amen. I was sit here. Where did I say the... You can serve and not be paid. You can serve and get paid. Praise the Lord. Yes. So, uh, just make sure you are in service. You are in service. Praise the Lord. Amen. The same is one thing to know Jesus Christ as your Savior. Another thing to know him as your Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus is our Savior. He said, He said, You are going to get into your Savior. But when He becomes your Lord, then I will, what does that mean? Then you are serving him. There is a Lord you are serving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let it not end that me, Jesus is my savior. <laughs> I don't know whether the video says for this day. I used to hear that a long time ago. What well, I think Jesus Christ is my pastor's Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. So is, is, is it your personal Lord? Is it your is he your personal Savior? Is he your Lord? Is he your Savior? Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Then you say, uh, service is likened to waiting. Service, we are likening service to waiting. A waiter. Praise the Lord. It's a waiter. That was from Luke chapter 12, verse 36. Luke 12, verse, verse 36. When you're going to a hotel, there is someone waiting to serve you. And we, we um, uh, the, the, the epistle of the man, where there's a scripture that was read that. Whoever is greatest among you, let him be as the one that serves. Praise the Lord. Be as the one that serves. So when I'm in the house of God, how am I serving? Praise the Lord. When you're in your service group, how are you serving? Serving that doesn't just be joining service group. But if you, when you're there, are you serving? Praise the Lord. Are you serving in your service group? Because when you're in Malachi chapter 3, verse 16, when God says, I will, I will. I will differentiate uh, those who serve me, those who serve me, and those who serve me not. God is not talking about people uh, like, let's say, uh, it's not like, it's not about us and believer and unbeliever, for example. And unbeliever, of course, is not serving. But he's talking to believers, praise the Lord. Those who are serving me and those who are not serving me. Like, remember this uh, uh, parable, Jesus just say, they were, not a parable, it was teaching. They say, they call me Lord, Lord, Lord. And then Jesus will say, I don't know. 
Então você vai ver qual é o meu nome. E isso tudo virou você viu nem. So what? What? What is that? Praise the Lord. You didn't cast out demons by the name of Jesus. And at the end of the day, Jesus is saying, I do not know you. May we may we be known? May we be known? Praise the Lord. May we be known? May we be that someone that is known? Not only here, I will know you, you are very active. But let Jesus that is looking down and says, That is my servant. That is my servant. When Jesus was, I mean, uh, scripture Hebrews, uh, talking about Moses, Bible says Moses who was faithful in all his house as a servant. That is God testifying about Moses. Amen. He was faithful in his house as a servant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are here, my servant here. How am I serving? Praise the Lord. How am I serving? How am I advancing the kingdom with whatever I'm doing? Yeah? Is it advancing the kingdom? Is it showing the interest? Of the kingdom. Praise the Lord. A servant is one who is ready for any assignment and any instruction. A servant, you are ready for what? Any assignment and any instruction. A servant is to take assignments. Imagine you're with your boss somewhere, he's telling you, okay, I want when I come, let me find this down, this down. He comes, it's not done. You're not really a servant and with, with, with no time, you'll be out of that company very fast. Because you're not employed to just sit. You're not employed to be your own boss. Praise the Lord. We're not being saved to be our own bosses. No. We are submitted to our Lord. Praise the Lord. We are submitted to our Lord. Hallelujah. Then as we, are, we look at that later, even as Jesus, Jesus was not by himself. He was Lord, yes. But when he was Joshua 22, verse 5. The Bible says, But take diligent heed to do the commandment and the law which Moses, the servant of the Lord, charged you to love the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments and to cleave to unto him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. Ah, praise the Lord. So I'm supposed to serve the Lord with all my heart. I'm serving him with all my soul. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I realize that sometimes you can be withholding something you know you can do. God has gifted so many of us in many different ways. But when you're withholding that gift, I don't know why you're waiting to use it. You're withholding, you're giving us most more of your giftings. Yet God has gifted you. Praise the Lord. May you use your gifting to the purposes of the kingdom. Praise the Lord. Do we love this table here? It's yeah. so beautiful. Very awesome. Thank you so much. No men are uh, here. We, this is very nice. You see, this is somebody's gift. Amen. He has offered it. And he looked like a friend of my mom. My mother. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. You see, this is your advancing the purposes of the kingdom. Praise the Lord with your gifts. Amen. With your gifts. Hallelujah. Yes. God is faithful. Amen. Amen. And the Lord bless you and reward you. Amen. Jesus mighty name. Job 36, 11 says, If you obey and serve me. So we say service is obedience. Service is obedience. If you obey and serve me, you will spend your days in pleasure and your years. Glory to God. In plenty. Hallelujah. That, I want that to be my testimony. 
Amen. If you obey and serve me, are you obey? They wanted to, they said, we will sell. those days they were selling and bringing it to their disciples' feet, apostles' feet. And they decided, and they just realized, God was not in this, he did not tell them, sell everything, give everything. No. They just decided uh, to lie. The issue was lying. They said, well, let's, let's, let's say this is all we, we sold. Praise the Lord. They were uh, they, were, they, were, they were not be truthful to God. That's what killed them. God have mercy on us. Amen. Yes, when God tells you to do something, are you, are you truthful? Are you sure? That is, are you giving your vows as you say? Service is obedience. Service is obedience. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When Philip was told to go join yourself to the chariot, and he, he heeded the voice of the Holy Spirit and he went and the Ethiopian eunuch gave his life to Christ because of someone's obedience. So your obedience can lead someone to Christ. Praise the Lord. Your obedience can lead someone to Christ. So let's not joke with, with what to hear the Lord telling us. Praise the Lord. The Lord telling us. Be obedient. Hallelujah. Be obedient. Amen. We're talking of obedience today, we're talking of service, but sometimes God can tell you kneel down and you know start worshiping. And because you feel hey, people will see me, eh? People will see me kneeling down. <laughs> you say, ah, what? Let me just stay standing. You are there, but you know the spirit has told you to kneel down. It may, it may not make sense. Praise the Lord. It may not make sense. But obey. Obey. That means you are your own head. And it's the head that's your Lord who's telling you do this and do that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Does you just build up on that today? Uh-huh. I also said service is worship. Matthew chapter 4, uh, verse 8 to 10. When the devil took Jesus to the peak, told him all oh, this will be yours if you worship me. Jesus not just replied with worship. He said, God, the Lord your God, you will worship and him you will serve. He said that's what God has said. So I'm not worshiping you. Worshiping you means I'm serving you. I am not. So service is worship. Praise the Lord. Yes. And uh, just reading Daniel chapter 3. We know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. And when they were, they were, they were. They were being thrown to the fire because they did not worship them, the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar had, uh, had, 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 had built for people to worship. Uh, the Bible records that when they were when they were brought to the king to answer, why are you not obeying the king's command? They said, we, we, we have only one God. We can only serve one God. Worship one. They, they mentioned worship and serve. Say we cannot serve your God. Praise the Lord. They were there that stand. Daniel 3. You can read all of it. It's an interesting uh, story there. But you can see these people have taken and, and a, a stand to serve God. Whether we are dying in the fire, it does not matter. But you are not serving your God. Nebuchadnezzar, okay. We're not even careful to answer you in this matter. In this matter, you're not serving your God. You want to worship your God. Praise the Lord. Who you worship is the one you serve. Amen. If Jesus Christ is the one you worship, he's the one who deserves your service. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. There is no, let's say you have a God and you don't serve him. So, what, what God is that? Amen. Mm -hmm. So, service is your worship. Jesus says you cannot serve two masters. Matthew 9, 17. You cannot serve two masters. Either hate one, love the other. But you cannot have what? Two masters. Two masters. Who is your master? Praise the Lord. Who is your master? Who is your master? If Jesus is your master, then we ought to serve the Lord. God has given us all things to enjoy. Amen. And also all things to serve Him. So whatever God has given me, He has given me to serve Him. Now I want us to look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. 
Deuteronomy 28 verse 47. God has given us all things to enjoy. I will show that. But also he has given us all things to serve him. So the more you have, the more it is expected of you. Amen. Some of us, I know you have a problem enjoying good things. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, you are free. You, are, you, are, you, are, you don't like enjoying good food. So you cannot buy, yet you have money to buy. Eh? You, you, you want to enjoy. Praise the Lord. Learn to enjoy. God has given us all things richly to enjoy. Can you uh, put that? First Timothy chapter six verse seventeen. Mister, Mrs. Uh -huh. Mister, Miss. <laughs> I don't know whether you enjoy. It. I know what's happened, but you are rewarded or awarded with the rest of the the, the crew. Yeah? Did you enjoy? It? Amen. Did you enjoy what? Did you? You can get something for yourself, my lady. I feel like wow. Hey, let me get an earring today. Hey, you just enjoy. God, God is, wants you to enjoy. So enjoy, praise the Lord. Enjoy. Eh? Those who are getting money, money here and there. People who can go. So, ah, let, me, let me buy something for my. Let me just feel good. Let me, let me just feel good. God wants me to enjoy. Not really to be sad and gloomy and tight. Because things are tight, you're also tight with your, <laughs> with your finances. Uh -uh. Uh, tell yourself I will enjoy the blessing of the Lord. I will enjoy the blessing of the Lord. Mm. It, is, it, is, it is not it is not it is not God who gives you what Ecclesiastes, you read it several. Uh, someone is saying it is the gift of God for a man to work and enjoy, enjoy his labor. It is the gift of God. I don't know why I'm dwelling on this, but it is the gift of God. Amen. I think I thank God for my husband so much. He really knows that scripture. And I think he really applies it. <laughs> he knows how to apply it. For me, I'm learning. Praise the Lord. <laughs> how to enjoy. So and I, I have realized because our minds are programmed to always think it's sufficient. That, I think that, that's, that's one, I don't know, that's a mountain. That we need to overcome and to take the grace of God for some, some. Amen. Because we are, we are told to think of insufficiency. Oh, and she clear you because I couldn't get to talk happy. We know how to shikilia, shikilia. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but we are not being we are not being told how to think sufficiency. Because God is sufficient. Let me let me get that for you. We are not being told to think sufficient. Yeah, the sufficient means don't be afraid to spend because you, you're not a, you're not thinking. I'm not I'm not talking of careless spending. Please, I hope we are uh, <laughs> understanding each other. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Second Corinthians nine verse eight. Second Corinthians nine verse eight it says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards me. That I always have it, all sufficiency in all things. Lord, may the Lord bring you to that realm. Amen. Sufficiency in all things. purpose 
Uh -huh. But he says, be doing what you were born to do. Praise the Lord. What you are born to do. What is your purpose? What is your purpose being here? What is your purpose? Uh, why were you born? Amen. Why were you born? Praise the Lord. If you don't know, go to God in prayer. Lord, why am I here? Amen. Lord, I'm in this church. What can I do? Why am I here? Mm -hmm. You brought me to this world. Why am I here? What is your purpose? What is your purpose? So you can imagine Moses was born a deliverer. Amen. That was God's purpose for his life. But he first had Ra in Egypt. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Until, <laughs> until I don't know what happened. But then the Bible says, by faith. Moses refused to record this was a, a, a son of Pharaoh and he chose rather to suffer with his people. He came to a point and he, said, he, he knew something was pushing him. Moses, you are supposed to be a deliverer here. That's why he killed that Egyptian. Then, he, by faith. So I thank God he had faith. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. So what he said is being, it's being an answer to your world. Being an answer to your generation, praise the Lord. Being an answer, being an answer. So where where you are, where you're in, in service, if you're in church, are you an answer? Praise the Lord. If you are thinking about something, can your name pop up? Hmm? Pop up. Ah, call this person. Call this person. He'll do this thing. Praise the Lord. He'll do this thing. Uh -huh. When you leave, do people miss you? Huh? Or is when you come back? Oh, where have you been? Ah, I don't go to her. Will you leave me? Where? You know, do people really miss your presence? Are you so that shows you're not an answer? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. Uh a vehicle, that's a normal one. I think it has thousands and thousands of parts. To be like that. Thousands of thousands of parts. And the manufacturer knew after cannot go cheap. You did you not want to go cheap with this guy? Praise the Lord. Akuna nat koyo gare na papas. You know, of course, this is the gonga poop. Eh? And that body may pop on your is weird than to sing in a silly, maybe it's less of visa, a man, a gare cabisa. So you may pop up a sababu filan. We were to come away in the night. Kuna sababu, uko hapa. There is a reason you're here. Praise the Lord. There is a reason. Amen. And Bible, the Bible says that we are the body of Christ, and the body has many parts, many members. Amen. Yes, some are visible, some we do not see. If I'm here, you cannot see my liver. Praise the Lord. You cannot see my arteries, but you are being told they are there. Amen. Uh -huh. But there is nothing in your body that is functionless. Praise the Lord. Everything has a purpose. Your hair in your head. Amen. Your hair. Praise the Lord. You are kucha. This is what they do. Though no, we cut them off. Is it you? Yes. They, but this is what they do. That finger, the small one. This is what that finger does. Everything has a purpose. Praise the Lord. Amen. And also everything has... God has given also some things in your body for you to enjoy this hair. You enjoy it. Praise the Lord. You can enjoy it for the ladies. Amen. All things. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I believe you are being blessed in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, You are, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Praise the Lord. Where you are, where I go, I cannot be hid. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. I cannot be here. Go with this mentality. I am the light of the world. And Jesus will say, I mean, so boldly, and will say, as long as I'm in the world. Yes, don't be darkness anywhere. Anywhere. When you're there, let's, let's know you are there. You are there. There's something you have to offer. And don't think that you have nothing to offer. You have something to offer. Praise the Lord. Yes? As long as I'm in the world, Jesus has said, as long as I'm the light of the world, we are to bring light to this dark world. Praise the Lord. That's what I've been told when you're going to evangelism. That's another form of service. You're bringing light. 
That's something you carry and you can bring it to somebody. That's the greatest miracle you can give to anyone. Because as long as someone is not in Christ, they are in darkness. They don't know, but they are in darkness. That's what the world says. Praise the Lord. They will know at the end of the day. But let not get let them not get there before we get, we meet them and show them the light. Praise the Lord. And show them the light. So when you're here, you're praying for souls to be born again. Amen. You're, you're praying for the light of God to reach them. To reach them. That is service. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, we preach the light to them. It is our assignment to reach out to them, those who have no light. The Bible says the devil has blinded their minds that they cannot see the light of the gospel. That is, that is why many are not getting one again. Why? Because the devil has blinded them. They have been in church or around church forever. But they are not born again. Why? Because the devil has made sure they cannot see the light. Praise the Lord. So your prayers, your prayer, your prayer, God open their eyes. Let them see the light. Some people have preached, you have preached to them. Now, tell the Lord, Lord, open their eyes. Amen. Let them see the light of the gospel. What is service? Service is bearing fruit. Service is bearing fruit. John 15. John 15, the Bible says, And the vine and my father is the hus husband man. Every branch in me that beareth no fruit, he taketh away. And every branch. God, I should show forth much fruit. I should bring forth much fruit. So, service is all about bearing fruits. Bearing fruits. Bearing what fruit am I bearing in that service group? Mm -hmm. What fruit am I bearing when I'm in the house with my siblings? What fruit am I showing? Fruits, bearing fruits, and your fruit should last. It says you are bound, the more you are bound, the more you bear fruit. The more you bear fruit. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. We serve God because He answers. When you are born again, you are enlisted. I say so, and it remains so. Amen. So what is service? Service is labor. What is service as we wind up on this one? Service is what? It's labor. And when you hear the word labor, kuna kazi. Are you the kazi? That is laboring is you have to put an effort. Service is labor. Hallelujah. Service is labor. Remember on Sunday people live here quite late because they are in labor. Oh, praise the Lord. They're making sure things are happening. These are moving. Service is labor. Romans chapter 16, verse 12. Romans 16, verse 12. Paul had that mentality very well. Salute. These are brother who is not doing anything. No, 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 no. Everyone here. Was serving. Some will tell us what they did. Some were ministering to him. Praise the Lord. So why would he not remember that in the Bible? Praise the Lord. If it were you during the days of Paul, would you be part of this great, great sister? Eh? When I did. <laughs> when you see her, please greet her. Emmanuel, when you see sister, please greet brother Emmanuel for me. Eh? I'm talking now I'm from I'm in France. Paul now, writing. Eh? When you go to Rokai, please, in a please greet Sister Mary for me. Eh? Greet Rebecca for me. Eh? Why would I remember you? Praise the Lord. God remembers servants. Ha! God remembers servants, I'm telling you that. You know how God came to rescue the Hebrew boys? Do you remember they were in captivity, this in and Meshach. They were in captivity. And they refused to worship because they, they, they know only Yahweh. That's the only God they worship. But God came to, to hey. God honored them from heaven. They were here by then. They said, even if God has not come, we are not, we are not bowing down. And they were thrown in the fire. The fire was so hot. The people that threw them in, they died because of them. They hit. But these guys, they were there bound. They were they were there walking around. Ah, you can never say, ah, well, how many people did you throw in here? 
he said, we threw three boys. But I can see the fourth person. He looks as, like a, a son of God. God came to defend his servants. People who took a stand on him. That God, um, my point is God remembers servants. God remembers what? Servants. Let's read Matthew's, uh, Romans 16. Praise the Lord. So let our labor be in the Lord. This one labored, another one labored much. I'm telling you, no one mentioned here by Paul. Who was not a servant? There's no one. Salute there. Salute there. Allah. Praise the Lord. Salute them. Salute them. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go on our feet. Then let us really go. Service is labor. We pick that up next week. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pray as we uh in the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's always such a great privilege to take the communion. To take what? The communion. And I want you, Mr. Nis. There's a book, there's a small book, right? Of communion by Bishop Oedip. It's very small. You can come, when you can, just can do three pages, plan. Okay? Plan deeply. And it's available for everybody. But as long as you are reading it from here, it's a small one. Eh, Max? Like everybody, Teresa, should read that book about the communion. I don't know if it's Mami Oedipo or Bishop himself was written about it. Amen. A privilege to take the blood, take the communion. Say, you're, you're not taking it, you're not parting me. Amen. And so, when you're taking it with understanding, John chapter 6, you can read it. If you don't have the book, go read John chapter 6. But you are partaking with what? With understanding. Amen. And the Jesus said that if you don't take, whoever does not take the body, he will die. Which kind of death is Jesus talking about? God give you understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So whatever is in Jesus that made him a, 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 what? a worthy servant as when he was as long as he was on earth. Jesus served. Praise the Lord. Lord, I partake that virtue of servanthood. That virtue of servanthood in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth in Jesus' precious. Rikelebra Liza Kataya Laria Dozia La Bayadesh Rikelebra Dozia La Bayadesha Era Taya Laba. Thank you, Lord, for being alive as time as this, such a time as this, Lord of glory, even as servants in your house. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, Lord, we pray that, Lord Almighty, by the communion tonight, that, Lord, we shall be profitable servants. In the name of Jesus, we shall be profitable, joyful, glad. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Lord of glory, we receive grace to serve you acceptably. We receive grace to offer acceptable service to you, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Rika Lebra Daisha Lavayade. Rika.
but take it and start praying. It's change, not ordinary drink, but the blood and the body of Jesus Christ. Let's just walk in front as we partake our communion in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. the blessing of the body strength in our inner man strength to serve the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord we receive it by this communion in Jesus mighty name. Receive glory and praise dear Lord. Hallelujah by everyone that is partaking with at home you are receiving grace and strength the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord we receive that grace as we are partaking this communion in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Thank you, mighty God, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's prepare our offering, our giving to the Lord. Let's be seated in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Listen to my story tonight. Uh, there's someone, some people went to, to steal the U.S. in someone's house. This someone had a, had a communion set somewhere at Karukakayeka. So these guys, when they did what? They stole. They stole it. I don't know what they were thinking it was. They stole it. Praise the Lord. They stole the what? Communion. Among other things. So, what happened? <laughs> don't joke in that thing by the <laughs> joke. But they stole it. I don't know whether they drank it, but there's something they did. They stole the matter just taking it and uh, maybe revisit where I had it from. Do you know what happened? They slept. There. So the owner of the house, ah, ah, why is the thief sleeping? Slept. <laughs> It's, good. it's so hilarious, but it's so true. Eh? He called the police. This guy's not waking up. That's how the thief was caught. Praise the Lord. Now, the meaning you still know. Praise God. It's not for everybody. Praise God. So, what? I'm just trying to open your mind what, what you're taking, what you're just taking. If, if a thief can take it, and sleep. Amen. That's the office. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lift up your offering to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. As you are giving offering tonight, Hallelujah is multiplied. Say the Lord, every seed that you are giving shall multiply. Let it be multiplied. Multiply the seed sown in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise and we bless your name. Receive honor and receive all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have given. Amen, amen. amen. As you come, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I believe you are meeting for the love center. Please start Yes, yes, yes it's love center. So please invite someone and the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.